welcome back. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. The other day I watched a video by Ben Parks and he was talking about cadence and how to improve it. Uh, and I've heard before about this magical 180 number. And he was explaining that if your cadence is around the 180 mark, then one, your legs will be turning over quicker, which is pretty obvious. Uh, and because of that, you'll be running faster. Uh, and over time, you can improve your, your stride as well to gain more distance with the, the quicker leg turnover. Uh, but also, that you'll be more injury resilient or less prone to injury. Uh, so I found it quite interesting and thought, well, let's have a look through my runs and see what what cadence I'm averaging. And it turns out most of mine are between 160 and on the rare occasion 170. So I'm kind of at that stage maybe I need to be thinking about improving my cadence. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And one of the methods he was talking about was using a metronome on a watch. So that's what we're going to be trying. Just going to finish off my warm up and then we'll get to it. For 180. I don't know if you can hear that. So I need to try and keep my feet moving to that room. I think the trick is to start with to keep the stride length shorter. Pretty quick. I think I'm pretty much half in my stride length, which when I looked on my data was between 800 centimeters and a meter. So I don't know how long I keep this up for. <laughs> Feels like I'm running super fast, but not at the same time. But I think the idea of this is to build up over time and it'll just make you more efficient at speed, I think. lighter on your feet and less impact time on the ground there's definitely going to be some run walk going on here this is getting my heart pumping yeah 161 when I said in the last video that we're going Right back to the start. This definitely feels like it. Run, walk, run, walk. But it's part of progression. I want to run faster. Can't really run faster with the, the cadence that I was going with. It's not, if I can't turn my legs over quickly, how do I expect to get quicker? So, if I can train, going on what Ben Parks was saying, if I can train my brain to run at a slower pace, at this cadence, then it will come more naturally when I try to speed up and gain stride length over distance. So, I think a little bit of run walk run walk isn't going to hurt me uh, not at all just need to be patient enjoy the journey or love the grind as Philly would say so 
Yeah, all right. Heart rate's gone back down. Let's give it another go. Doesn't matter how slow I'm trying to keep my pace. The leg turnover is just pushing my heart rate right up. I'm trying to not run quickly and I'm shortened, I've shortened up my stride to kind of try and account for that so I can keep the leg turnover quick without running too far too fast. But doesn't seem to be working at the minute. The only other thing I'd say is the metronome is not super loud. So sometimes I'm finding myself running with my watch to get myself back in time. I know the watch is on this hand by the way, but I'm holding the camera so you'd go like that. So now, see, I'm running at 5.45 pace. It's not really an easy pace. It's more of a tempo. I'm trying to keep it a bit slower so I can maintain it. Or with the legs turned over that quick, how are you supposed to be running faster? Can you run slow with a 180 cadence? I don't know. <laughs> All right. I've done around just over 20 minutes of the cadence work. Uh, I'm going to call it a day there for that and just do a, a little kilometer warm down uh, slow the legs up a little bit get home stretch it out and and yeah if anyone's got any tips on uh, cadence work if there's any any things that have worked for you in the past uh, just let me know down below in the comments uh, first time I've really started to work on my cadence so uh, the metronome was one thing I saw on Ben Parks video uh, and that did work, although, as I said, the volume of the watch isn't very loud, so you can't always hear it. Um, maybe that's something Coros can improve, I don't know, or maybe the strength of the vibration. can't really feel the vibration when you're running that well either, because uh, it's constant. You kind of maybe just lose the, f the sensation of it while you're running along. But, yeah, uh, see you on the next run. I'm about to go out on my next run, but before we do, uh, I just wanted to mention that earlier on we were talking about cadence and improving the cadence. Um, when I posted my run after I did it on Instagram, I got a message from um, an account called Endurance Therapy Performance, and this guy seems really knowledgeable, and uh, it was quite helpful. Um, so he went on to say that so the the magic number 180 came from an average of what the elites tend to run uh, which is generally a pretty different pace to most of us usually the cadence isn't intentional but more of a result of the speed so that kind of makes sense and for the video that I was watching of Ben Parks kind of makes sense too because he's he's not at professional pace quite but he's not far off it, like compared to me. Um, I mean, I don't know what his times are, but I know they're significantly quicker than mine. Um, I think he didn't didn't he do a uh, marathon in two hours forty or something, or something similar, something close to that. Which is, I mean, forty minutes off of pro time. The pros are running between two hours and two hours fifteen, so. 25 to 40 minutes difference that's, that's not a lot really is it um, he's also saying that there isn't any evidence to suggest it reduces injury risk at the minute however it can be useful if injured runners 
who wish to shift their force away from the hip, uh, knee or shin in the short term as it increases forces in the ankle. And he also said about when it comes to increasing, I think it was much like what Ben Park said, it's probably best to start around 5 to 10% above your, your normal average. Uh, so, <laughs> which I said to him, 10% above my average is actually 180, so I'll start with 5. Um, although I was doing the, the 10% the other day, it was, in fact I think my highest one it got to like 197, so I was going a little bit too quick. But I was saying it was hard to hear the, the, the metronome, it's, it's not that loud. I also said there's apps that use music speed, so if you listen, I haven't been listening to music for the past couple of months really, um, I went out for one run without my headphones and then felt like I enjoyed it a little bit more, but yeah, um, if you listen to music then you could use apps, or even just to set up a playlist, if you know the, the BPMs of your, your songs, I mean 180 BPM or, or similar, there's to me that's going to be like drum and bass isn't it <laughs> dance music's normally like 140 so endurance therapy performance is the instagram account the the guy that sent me the message super helpful super knowledgeable i'm going to put his instagram link down in the description below the video so if you want to head across and um look at his instagram send him a message i'll say super helpful like really nice guy uh and thank you very much right now we need to really go out on our run because it's, uh, it's like half past 12 and it's only going to get warmer. So, see you out there. Stinging it was there. <sighs> what, come a different way today? What, come down by the river? ground looks really unlevel though, so I'm going to have to be careful when I'm running. Yeah, let's go. So I've mapped out a little run. I haven't set the map on, the, on my watch because I'm not sure if it records in the same way or... I don't know, maybe it does. Might try a smaller one before. I'll do a big one like this. Right. It's around, around 7k. Just under. But it's going to be uh, pretty slow, I think. This ground's quite uneven. The grass has been cut though, which is nice. Still quite long. If you're not careful, I need to slow down a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt myself. Oh, Jesus Christ! Foot nearly disappeared then. The sun's gone in a little bit. That's quite a relief. It's a lovely breeze. does make running hard work. Oh, it's all fluffy around here. It was a nice idea to come down this way and enjoy the river while I'm running but I don't think I'll be coming down there again not for a run anyway just too many holes in the ground and you can't see them because the grass is so long so it's just more dangerous than it's worth but nearly at the bridge now the crossover and then hopefully we'll be on solid ground oh bucking hell 
I was going to jump through that then. This side looks a bit better. Probably quite refreshing to go in there right now. Good idea though. Weirs are pretty dangerous. Back on solid ground. Oh my god. Five kilometers. Number two more to go. Summer's gonna be a killer for these runs. Really gonna have to think about going when I get up in the morning instead of in the evenings. Because when I get home from work around five, it's generally like still kind of the really hot part of the day. And then going when the sun's kind of going down, it's like nine, ten o'clock at the minute. I'm in bed by ten. So that ain't gonna work. So yeah, I have to sort myself out, start going early in the morning. That's that's pretty much done. If you do like these videos, please remember to smash that like button. It really helps. If you find any value, we just enjoy following along my progression into running, please hit that subscribe button. See you on the next run.